what are categories in WordPress and how do I use them? Okay, start, it's time to start talking about categories in WordPress and why they're so useful um, for organizing your content and helping your user uh, navigate through your content more efficiently. Um, if we go back to our front page here, we'll notice something. All the posts that we've been creating so far, um, we'll see down here, they've all been listed, they've all been added to this category called uncategorized. You see this entry was posted in uncategorized on this date, okay? Every single one of these. And that's because we haven't actually set up any categories yet. And you may be wondering, well, I don't know that I really need categories. Well, categories are actually more useful than you think. Um, let's have a look at where this is all located, okay? We can see um, down here under posts, okay? If we just click or if we just hover over the post tab over here, we'll see we've been going to all posts and add new. We're familiar with what's behind there, right? All posts is where we get a complete list of all our posts. Add new is where we would add a new post. Um, but what's this category business right here? Let's go ahead and click on categories and see. Um, categories are a way of classifying the content on your, your WordPress site. And, you know, the, the categories that you're going to use, you select what categories you want. By default, you just get this thing called uncategorized. Okay, you need to have at least one category on your WordPress site. And, uh, um, you get to choose the categories that you use, and this is all going to depend on what type of site you're building. Okay, so the best way to explain this is just to kind of go through some examples for this particular site we're, we're writing right here. Um, let's pretend this is a band site, okay? And if we have a look at the different types of content, the different types of, of posts that we've been writing, um, some things have to do with band news, okay? So check out our band lineup. Here's We Love Paul Federici's new song, Strange Daisies. Okay, so this has to do with other music, okay? Music notes, if you will, all right? Um, we've started recording our, our new album, so that, that category could be band news again. Uh, Jane Smith is our new, also more band news. Tour update, maybe this is a touring uh, category. Maybe this is a category all to do with, with updates about touring, okay? And, and so on and so forth. Um, the, the number of categories and the types of categories, categories are completely up to you. And you don't have to go crazy and have like billions of different categories. Just a few categories are usually enough. And, and this is something that as your website evolves, um, you'll start to understand how you can make really, really good use of categories. We'll see this in action in a few screencasts when we start building our navigation to our site too. But in the meantime, let's, let's actually start creating a couple categories. I'm going to start by just creating a category here. Um, called, uh, say, just band news, okay? So we'll just call this band news, all right? Um, I'm gonna leave this, what happens if I just click band news and I just click add new category? I'll do that, and then we'll see here that this ought actually automatically created what's called a slug. Okay, and we'll see the slug in action later on. Don't worry about it for now. Um, we could have created our own right here. This is just an Earl friendly version of that name. In other words, it's it's a name that could be added into uh, the Earl up there. Um, we, we don't, all we really need to do is just create a name, give a name to our category, and it shows up right here. We could have added a description. Let's not worry about that right now. We currently have zero posts in the band news category. Let's go back to our posts over here and let's start using this new category, okay? Let's go ahead and edit this particular, check out our new band lineup. This to me seems like it would fall under the category band news. And here's something that we haven't really been paying a lot of attention to. Down here, we see this categories box down here. And by the way, if you don't see that, um, there's a, a thing, there's a tab up here called screen options that lets you turn these different things on and off. Let me actually, let me turn off format and just show you what I mean here. See down here, watch what happens when I toggle this on and off. See the t um, categories disappears and reappears as I do that. So if I'm, if you're, if I'm ever, you know, pointing out one of these boxes and you're like, what, where is this box? It's not showing up. Make sure you click on screen options and just have a look at what you have set to, to show on screen because it, it might not be there. Um, all of this stuff can be turned on and off. Okay. So I'm just going to click that to disappear, make that disappear again. And right here we see that we, because we created this band news category, suddenly it's here. This wasn't here before. All we had was uncategorized, but we've created this band news category. So I can go ahead and select that. Now you can actually have, you can file your, your content into different 
categories if you want. But in this case, I don't think I need to leave this in uncategorized. That would be kind of silly because I do have a category for it. So I've categorized this in band news. I'm going to go ahead and click update. And let's go ahead and reload this over here. And let's see what has changed. Okay, not much has changed except now we see this entry was posted in band news. So this is starting to look a little more reasonable, right? Um, now, see what happened there? I hovered over this and this little tooltip appeared that said view all posts in band news. And hopefully this is starting to give you a clue as to why categories are so handy, not just for you, but particularly for your your, your users, like the people who are visiting your site. Because now, if your fans, for example, are only interested in band news, they can go ahead and click on this to see all of the posts that are categorized band news, and they don't have to see anything else. So in this case, now in this case, we only have one article here, so there's not that much, but that's okay. We're going to go and we're going to start um, changing some of that stuff. We're going to start um, categorizing other things. Let me show you a faster way of adding categories to posts, because perhaps you've changed your categorization scheme and you want to quickly go through. I'm going to show you the quick edit function, okay? So right here under we've started recording our new app, Album. Um, let's say we want this to be changed. Right now it's uncategorized. We see this under here, but we'd like to main change that to band news. We could click edit and go edit that through the edit window, or we could actually use what's called the quick edit view. And by clicking that quick edit view, this allows us to make quick changes to things. We could actually add a title uh, or edit the title of our, of our, uh, of our post. Um, we can actually um, do all sorts of things here, but what I'd like to do is I'd like to uncheck uncategorize and just check band news, click update right here, and see how that was actually a lot faster than doing it the other way. So let's go ahead and reload this. And now we'll see an example of, okay, check out our new band lineup. That's posted in band news. This is still posted in uncategorized. This article down here is posted in band news. If I click on here, then we'll see the archives for just band news. And then this shows us only the posts that were categorized under band news. So now we're starting to get a clue as to how useful this can be. Okay. Um, let's try something else. I showed you, we created a category here, but what if you wanted to create categories on the fly? This is another thing you can do. We can go to, let's say we were editing, let's say we were in the middle of editing this particular post. Oh, and this is telling me, by the way, actually this is a good example. There's an autosave of this post that is more recent than the version below. That's just because um, I was in the process of editing this and then I left it and then I came back and WordPress is going, whoa, 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 did you want to save those other things? Let's not worry about that actually. Um, but if you ever see that, that's just because somehow you left a preview. You were in the process of editing this, you left it and you came back and now WordPress is a little confused and saying, did you want to change those other things or not or what? You know, were you finished? In this case, I know that that wasn't very important. I didn't need to keep that. Um, so um, I don't want this to be uncategorized. I don't want it to be in band news. Let's go ahead and add a new category and let's, let's just create music notes. Let's just call it music notes. Okay. Um, and we can click on add new category right here. And what that does is that it just adds that new category right here. Let's go ahead and click update. And now this has been categorized under music notes and that will appear the same thing here. I won't bother reloading that, but we can see it right here. Let's go take a look at our categories over here. We'll see that, yeah, it's been added here. So that's actually a different way you can do it. You don't actually have to go to this categories page to do that. So um, it is definitely worthwhile adding categories to all of your posts, okay? Making sure that all your posts are filed into some category other than just uncategorized, okay? And notice that when I, when I added that that a category, I was actually able to. Um, it, it asked me if I wanted to add it as a as a grant or as a child category or a parent category, like you know. Um, and you might be wondering, what is this child parent thing? Um, what this means is that categories um, can actually have a hierarchy. Okay, um, and we can see here that when you create a category, whether you do it through this window or whether you do it on the post edit window, um, you can actually select, you could say, you know, um, let's say that we wanted to have a subcategory about, you know, news about Jane. Okay, so news about Jane. 
okay? And then it would make sense that that would be the parent category for that would be band news, okay? So there's the, there's, you've got your parent category is any news regarding the band, and then news about Jane is a subcategory underneath that that only, that refers to news that is specifically about Jane. I'm not going to go bother adding this category, but hopefully you can see how this could you know how the, how you could use this on your site. Now you don't have to go into detail and create all these different levels of categories and hierarchies. Um, it's just it's there for you to use if you want to. Okay, um, but uh, if you don't want to, that's fine. It's perfectly fine to just have you know maybe half a dozen categories or even less, and they're all just at the same level. The important thing to remember though is that every single post in WordPress um, is filed under one or more categories, okay? Even if it's the uncategorized. If it's, you don't put it in anything, then WordPress just says, hey, it's uncategorized. Um, take the time to create some categories and and make sure that every post you create is filed under some category that makes sense, okay? Um, Remember that categories can be hierarchical in nature, okay, where one category acts as a parent to several children or even grandchildren. You can have several levels, um, but don't feel that you have to use them in that fashion if you don't want to. You could just keep it as, you know, plain categories. Categories are really, really useful, not just, you know, to have nice labels at the end of your, of your post, but also for navigational purposes because we can, you know, we can go ahead and click on these categories and this brings us archives that are that kind of filter out all the other stuff um, and we can actually start using these archive pages um, as navigational elements within our site too and you'll see in a few screencasts why that's really really handy okay so I'm going to leave it at that thank you very very much for watching I hope that that was helpful and I'll see you next time